Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tadayoshi CJ and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be recreating a scene from a famous anime named I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, but with a twist, of course. This scene will have four parts, modeling, shading, animation, and composting. In modeling 3D anime objects, the process is pretty easy. Keep in mind that bevels are important in modeling 3D anime. Try to pause the video and tell me which one looks more anime here. If you choose this one, you're correct. For the rest of the modeling part, it's just like normal modeling, except for the trees. I will be making a tutorial for this in the next video if this hits 100 likes. So what you're waiting for, hit that like button right now. So I have a lot of techniques to make 3D anime trees with G nodes and anime shading. And let's go to the next part. When it comes to anime shading, it should be specific for each object. As you could see here, this one has a anime cement shading. This one has an anime metal shading. And for the buildings, it has different shadings as well. Let's check this foreground object here. This is a great example of an anime shading. Now, can you tell me what looks more anime here? If you choose this one, you're correct. If I rotate the sun here, it also affects it. Even the trees there. Even the white edges here are becoming blue in color as you could see. For my base anime shading here, here's the node 3. You could pause the video here if you want to copy it. And of course, I will also have a detailed tutorial for this. So make sure to subscribe to get notified on my latest videos. For animation, anime sceneries have a simple animation only. Gentle breeze on the clouds, grass, trees, or you could also animate the sun rotation. It's up to you. And of course, the main object here, which is the car. For the particle system grass here, you could try to add a force field and wind. So as you could see, we have our wind here. And if I rotate the wind, it's being affected. Now, a simple tip for this, if you only want the foreground grass to be affected by the wind, you could simply separate this particle system in the foreground to the background. Then, once you separated this, just go into the particle system, you could press this to separate it. Then, go into the field weights down in the bottom part of this section. Then, you could simply set this wind into one and the background you could set it into zero so it won't be affected by the wind as you could see the composting how did we make this anime scene look anime so this is very important let's go into the bloom first so as you could see my bloom is pretty low it's set into 0.15 only so that it would be a little bit foggy on our scene gives like the anime vibe on it next is anime scenes should be more detailed in modeling and shading in the foreground unlike in the background where the colors are much less saturated here i put transparent white planes for that effect as you could see here these are the planes so it would give that anime vibe on your scene also in compositing tab, we should also give a theme color to our scene and it's just a simple node setup. So try to pause here and guess what is my theme color in this scene. So if you guess it's color blue, this is because of my compositing tab which is pretty simple. Use nodes, render layers, add a filter, set it into pre-wet, color ramp, now your theme color is here, then add. then. Here's the before and here's the after if I increase my color theme. 
So going to the shading once again. As you can see, it's now creating a lot of blue outlines. And in order to see your compositing live, you could simply press here, then set the compositor into always. Now you know the basics of anime sceneries. I highly recommended this course for you and it is only a limited time offer and it has a limited number of students only that can enroll here and this is my 3D Ultimate Anime Package Road to 3D Anime Master and this includes all of my anime blender files and a lot of courses totaling 40 plus hours of videos and this will include my future anime courses and files so for example if i made an anime course it's going to be free for you already and this is also a lifetime enrollment plan so i hope you learned a lot see you in my next videos